Traffic in Hampton Roads, Virginia is a nightmare. Every day, over 100,000 vehicles squeeze through an aging tunnel system designed for just 60,000, and in the summer, total gridlock. But what if we told you that a $4 billion engineering marvel is about to change everything? A massive tunnel boring machine the size of a football field is digging underwater, carving out one of the most ambitious highway expansions in U.S. history. Will this mega project finally solve Hampton Roads traffic crisis, or is it just another billion dollar band-aid? Let's dive in. With a population of around 2 million, Norfolk, Virginia is located in the center of the Seven Cities metropolitan area. Norfolk's position at the intersection of many rivers that flow into the Chesapeake Bay, a crucial waterway for both national defense and trade, is no accident. Hampton Roads is the largest naval base worldwide. It's a home to Naval Station Norfolk. The Port of Virginia, among the largest and most active ports in the nation, drives trade and business, managing millions of tons of freight each year. Aside from that, Norfolk serves as a key travel hub, linking the vibrant Northeast Corridor to popular southern beach destinations. This specific area always sees constant movement. However, all of this movement leads to one massive problem, traffic congestion. The main roadway in the area is Interstate 64, which is notorious for roadblocks and congestion. Norfolk and the Hampton Roads region stand as one of the most important areas because of their blend of military, economic, and transportation significance. However, ensuring everything flows seamlessly? It's a challenge that local leaders and engineers persist in addressing. The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel Extension is a large project with a purpose of relieving congestion on Interstate 64. One of Virginia's busiest avenues is this one. The project will convert the existing four-lane highway into an eight-lane road that spans about 10 miles, greatly boosting capacity and enhancing traffic flow. The existing 3.5-mile bridge and tunnel facility connects the cities of Hampton and Norfolk. Each city is connected by a pair of two-lane trestle bridges to an artificial island. Hampton is connected to the North Island and Norfolk to South Island. The islands in turn are connected via two two-lane immersed tube tunnels. Traffic on these four lanes exceeds 100,000 vehicles per day during peak summer traffic. On the Hampton side, the project involves widening a one-mile stretch of road leading to the tunnel and constructing two new four-lane bridge trestles over the water. These bridges are set to be built next to the existing structures, helping with traffic separation and reducing congestion before vehicles enter the tunnel. The eastbound traffic would be handled by two new tunnels just beneath the harbor. The existing tunnel system forces both directions of travel to share two lanes each, creating major delays and slowdowns. According to the new plan, the traffic towards Hampton will keep using the current tunnel, while the traffic towards Norfolk will use the two newly constructed tunnels. On the Norfolk side, significant upgrades will also take place. The project involves constructing 6,000 feet of new dual trestle bridges, widening the highway in the Willoughby area, and adding a one-mile bridge across Willoughby Bay. This new bridge will connect the expanded highway to Interstate 564, an essential route for both commuters and military transportation. The improvements made in this section of the tunnel intend to reduce traffic in one of the most crowded sections of I-64. In addition to the highway expansion and new tunnels, the project will extend or renovate over 20 bridges along the route. The HRBT expansion will provide the Hampton Roads region with a more reliable, effective, and congested transportation system after construction is complete, which will benefit both residents and tourists for many years to come. One of the most important components of the project is the tunnel boring machine named Mary. It was named after Mary Winston Jackson, one of the most revered mathematicians and engineers from NASA. The twin tunnels beneath the port were carved out by this enormous machine, making it one of the most significant tunneling projects in the history of the area. The North Island was expanded by 15 acres to make the tunnel construction easier and to provide the necessary space for the TBM to be launched and received. The machine weighs an astounding 4,700 tons, is 430 feet long, and measures an amazing 46 feet across. Due to its immense size, Mary was put together on the South Island through meticulously planned steps before being positioned for the start of excavation. 
Once operational, the TBM digs through soil and rock while concurrently placing precast concrete segments, shaping the tunnel structure as it moves forward. The device progresses by utilizing hydraulic jacks, advancing in measured steps while ensuring accurate alignment beneath the waterway. The excavation task was a prolonged and intricate effort, taking 51 weeks to excavate a tunnel from the South Island to the North Island. In April 2024, the TBM reached North Island, marking an important milestone for the project. One of the most difficult stages of the excavation was the turnaround procedure for the journey back. As the TBM was intended to tunnel in a single direction, engineers needed to perform a complicated 180-degree turn of the machine's 2,500-ton cutter head to set up for the second tunnel. To accomplish this, they employed a nitrogen table that reduces friction, which aided in lessening the weight effect while adjusting the large component. Furthermore, the gantries and tunnel support structures needed to be meticulously taken apart, moved, and put back together to guarantee the TBM could resume its path back to the South Island. The successful procedure of Mary showcases contemporary engineering, enabling the secure and effective building of new tunnels while reducing disturbances to current roads and maritime activities. As digging progresses, the HRBT expansion gets nearer to offering a quicker, more dependable path for countless daily travelers. Delivering the design of this massive project required combining our national expertise and local talent. Altogether, nearly 800 design packages were completed. At the peak of design, 138 staff in 40 HDR offices contributed to the project. The project was supposed to be completed in November 2025. However, there were many issues that resulted in a significant delay. As a result, the project is said to be completed by August 2027. The project's tunnel boring machine, dubbed Mary, began excavation from a launch pit on the South Island and will work its way to the North Island, which was nearly doubled in size as part of the expansion. The tunnel boring machine is anticipated to take roughly a year to arrive at the North Island, followed by four months to rotate the machine and an additional year to excavate a parallel tunnel back to the South Island. Each tunnel will measure approximately 8,000 feet in length and extend as deep as 150 feet beneath the water. Any unforeseen geological conditions or mechanical faults with the TBM might cause delays forcing engineers to rethink their strategy to maintain safety and structural integrity. Another significant factor is the logistical challenge of building new bridges and enlarging highways while preserving regular traffic flow. With more than 100,000 vehicles each day, the HRBT is one of Virginia's busiest highway lanes. Since road work must be phased in to avoid interruptions, Workers typically operate in extremely limited windows to keep roads open during peak hours. The project time frame has become more challenging due to the need to balance preserving traffic flow with growing infrastructure. The severe weather is one of the primary factors causing the project's prolonged timetable. Because Hampton Roads is so near to the Atlantic Ocean, construction crews have had to adjust their designs to accommodate periodic weather challenges. Other than the construction-related delays, some of the other issues that have also affected the construction timeline are supply chain disruptions and labor shortages. Other than that, the lack of skilled construction workers and other staff has also proven to be a significant challenge. However, these issues and challenges are not stopping the project managers from doing their job properly. When completed, the longer tunnels and wider roads will provide a long-term solution to traffic issues improving transportation and fostering economic ties across the Hampton Roads region. The primary funding source for the project is the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Commission, which provides $3.58 billion or 90%. Other than that, Virginia state funds add $132 million and federal funds contribute another $33 million. HR TAC ensures that local commuters and consumers pay for the project's finances by increasing income through a 2.1% fuel tax increase and a 7% regional sales and use tax increase. Officials are committed to completing this project despite rising issues. It is expected to be completed in 2027. According to critics, additional traffic eventually results from increased road capacity. 
Other than that, certain lanes will necessitate adjustable tolls to assist in financing maintenance and repaying debt, while two general purpose lanes in each direction will continue to be free. Even with uncertainties, the project is set to improve commuting efficiency, aid military operations, and enhance regional connectivity for many years. The Hampton Roads expansion is a $4 billion engineering feat, promising to ease congestion and reshape travel for the next century. But with delays, rising costs, and tolls, will it truly fix the traffic nightmare or just buy time before congestion returns? Let us know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this breakdown, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into America's biggest projects. Thanks for watching.